My name is Janice Lowe, and I teach the senior level GLE program at Ascension of Our Lord. The GLE movement strives to break down the barriers of perception that prevent students from reaching their full potential. Together, we can help ourselves and support exceptional learners to understand their potential and provide accommodations so that the speed bumps of learning don't deter them and become roadblocks in life. As a family, we seek to engage, empower, and encourage our youth to overcome adversity while elevating both themselves and one another. Together, we grow, lead, and excel. We stomp the stigma. We all have a struggle, and some of those struggles go real deep. They leave us with self-doubt and fear, and strip us of our confidence. But in GLE, we don't have to face our struggle alone. Sometimes you need a breakdown before you can build up. Our struggle is not the end of our story, it's just a part of it. It's our motivation, our fuel to succeed. And in GLE, we are given opportunities to succeed and challenge to grow. And that's what we do. We grow, we lead, and we become excellent. So when I first started teaching GLE, it stood for something else. And our class came together and realized, you know, it doesn't represent who we are. So the first thing we did was change it up. So GLE stands for Growth, Leadership, and Excellence. I want to give you a little background story as to why I'm so passionate about this course. I have a younger brother, and um, he struggled a lot in school. He didn't do well. Um, he took a lot of negative risks. And when I started taking, or sorry, when I started teaching this class at first, I started seeing my brother in these students, right? And as a sister, he wouldn't listen to me. And he actually took GLE in high school, but that course didn't support him. He didn't, he didn't succeed. So I made it my mission to make sure my class is set up so that my students are successful. That I make sure that the learning style is there, works for them, right? A lot of my kids come into the class feeling unsuccessful, feeling like they failed in their other classes because some of these classes are set up where it's pencil paper, and that's not where the strengths lie with my students. They're more kinesthetic, hands-on. They need to see the connection. How does this work for me? How is this my reality? So that's how I need to set up my class. I need to make sure that what I'm teaching is relevant, it connects to them, and that's how they're becoming successful. So I see these kids, I see my younger brother, I see my younger sister in them, so I need to make sure that they're set up good. So that's why I love this class. GLE is real life. Before this class, I only did tests to pass my courses. There was no real life connection, so I never took it seriously. But in this class, there was a reason. We actually studied for our G1, which gave us purpose to learn study skills and test taking strategies. And you know what? Mads got their G1. I succeeded, and all I needed was a purpose to do so. So GLE, how the brand started, first started from just a class that wanted to show the school what we were about. Because it's not a normal class where a teacher just gives us a piece of paper and we just write and do our work and hand it in. So we started off with a, a music video. We made sweaters, started branding ourselves as GLE. Everyone was asking what's GLE, GLE this, GLE that really started to make a buzz around the school. We even hosted a school dance, you know, GLE. First dance since the past 10 years that we had at this school. A lot of people came out, supported, fundraised. We fundraised a lot of money. The money that we fundraised went towards a couple trips that we went to, like skiing, zip lining. One of the first activities we do in our class is called Challenge Day. And Challenge Day, what it does is it allows each student to share a struggle that they're facing or that they faced in the past. And it allows us to break down our walls, expose us for who we really are, and allows the kids to, to see that, hey, this is us, this is, this is the real me. This is what I go through. And at that point, everyone's on the same level. And that's like one of the most serious bonding experiences that, that we have. And at that point, that's when students start, they start connecting 
They start seeing each other like, oh, this is my friend, or this is someone who can support me. We become a, a support system. Before Julie, I was under a lot of pain, because recently I lost my brother. So it was, it was really a lot of stress, not just physically, mentally, and emotionally. It was really hard for me. Knowing that I don't trust people, and I had to share my story with multiple people. It wasn't something easy for me. It was very hard. <laughs> but to know that you're sharing your story with somebody that has the same story as you, it just makes it feel more comforting and safe because you're not the only one that's going through that same struggle, whether it's different, similar, or some other challenges, but we connected. My past was pretty heavy. Like, I never had, like, a dad. My dad was never there for me. I only had my mom and my grandma, and I always got bullied in school from, like, grade four all the way until now, grade 11, right? And it made me feel some type of way because like, they used to like call me names and call me like stuff that a normal teenager shouldn't hear. And it made me scared and self-conscious about myself. So when I came into GLE, I felt like I was at home. Like, Miss Lowe, she's not just my teacher, she's, she's like an aunt I've never had. She treats me like if I was her own. So when I walk into the GLE classroom, it's my home. The GLE classroom is an actual home. You walk in, we have, um, we have a, cl a class sign, a home sign, talking about the values and morals that the GLE students have, which they came up with. We have uh, chairs, we have a rug, we have shelving from Ikea, we have picture frames, picture ledges. So the kids actually go in and they see themselves, like how you would do like at home, how parents would have pictures of their kids on the wall showing their accomplishments. We have our field trips, the students smiling, snowboarding, zip lining, um, our, our GLE brand. So the kids get excited, they see themselves, you know, this is really their home. And, and they really feel that way, which is, which is amazing, because this is their safe, their safe space, so that when they're comfortable, they can actually now focus on, on the goals that they have, and they start succeeding. And then through that success, they build confidence. GLE is not just an ordinary classroom. You walk into the class, and you know that you're gonna have fun. And Miss Lowe is not just an ordinary teacher. Miss Lowe is a great teacher. She helps us succeed in our goals. I just like to say Miss Lowe's class, her GLE class, it's like, it's one of the best courses I took because it's actually real life. Like, we, we actually go out and do stuff. It's not no in the class, boring. Like, we actually go outside, go on field trips, go do things. It, it challenges your mind to actually learn stuff. If, if my kids have nothing to do after school, that's when they might be taking the wrong risks. So we hooked them up with the YMCA Employment Center. They came into our class, set everybody up for the after school program and my kids got paid okay so imagine now you're learning and you're getting money so how is that not an incentive right so they get bus tickets so they're set up from 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 the jump they go after school they're learning about resumes interview skills budgeting uh, work safety and they get minimum wage $14 an hour to sit in a classroom and listen so one big opportunity that we had was when the YMCA employment program signed us all up for their program and in order for us to you know do that program we had to go get our SIN number and have our own bank card and for me I never had my SIN number so that forced me to go get that to step into the real world and get a job not only did we have to prepare for the interview interviews but we had to look the part so we actually had a barber come into our GLE class and line us all up give us haircuts so that we look professional when we go to our interviews. Once the kids are getting paid, they need to know what to do with their, what to do with their money. So we had 
Matthew from Scotia Bank at Westwood come in and do a presentation about financial skills, budgeting, um, understanding credit cards. I cannot tell you how many former students come back to me and tell me, Miss, I wish I knew about credit cards. I am in debt. So I had to make sure that my kids know what's up. What is a credit card? What is interest rate? What is minimum payment? My kids know now you never just pay for minimum payments on a credit card. You have to pay more than that or else you're going to be in debt. And when you're in debt, you're behind the game. Because when, you're, when my kids are 24, 25 years old, that's when they realize they want to buy a house. They want to move out. And if they're not financially ready, then a lot of them struggle. A lot of them have to stay at home or they're not going to have the opportunity to buy a home. So that's another thing we talk about. So Matthew talked about mortgages. And then another thing we, I, I'm doing with the kids is we're going to a brand new home presentation center. The kids are going in, they're looking at brand new floor plans. They get to see, they get to experience. How about if they actually got to buy their own home? What can they pick? Looking at floors, countertops, um, actually getting to walk through a model home. Man, GLE is all about inspiration, showing them like, listen, these, these are goals, right? Like you can do this, but this is the preparation. So the class is preparing them, they're showing them, they're opening up their eyes that you guys want these opportunities? This is what you want in life? Let's go. Let's go. That's what we do. We're getting them ready. GLE exposed us to different opportunities out of high school, like college, jobs, uh, and entrepreneurship. Um, we went on a trip also that was the Switches and Things. Uh, I personally connected with the owner of the place, Jeff, and he shared his life story. Uh, it was surprising to me because where he ended up and how his life was in school or uh, what he was sharing, which uh, he didn't pass his high school, and you know, he had trouble with reading and writing, which I related to. Like, I, I had some obstacles where I had to get over that, and by seeing what he has accomplished and what he's doing and where he came from, it just shows you, you know, what, um, what you can do if you don't give up and, you know, it's, it's how much effort you put in and success is just a mindset, I guess. You know, I grew up in Malta my whole life and I'm not saying that I'm the richest guy in the world, but sometimes being the richest guy in the world or being okay and enjoy, do, you know, I enjoy doing what I'm doing. This is, this is my life. I love doing this. I enjoy working on all these old cars and to me that's more than any money. So in our GLE class, we want to show our kids different opportunities. And for my students, they need to actually experience this. So one thing they actually got to experience was dual credit. This opportunity was um, eyes opening for me because before I started dual credit, I did not think about going to post-secondary because I, I was scared and I had low marks and I thought they wouldn't accept me. But going into Humber and doing dual credit has opened my eyes that I can do post-secondary and that I can actually go to college and learn stuff that I would like to learn. And to prove everybody that I did pass dual credit, I have my own certificate. One of my favorite experiences in GLE is the snow winning chip. What are you guys saying? GLE's out here. GLE's out here. When Miss Lowe forced me to go, I didn't want to. And it ended up being kind of fun at the end of the day. It was a great bonding experience to actually bond with people I never used to talk to around the school and making new friends. My job is to make sure I have guest speakers coming in, making sure the community connection is there, because there's other things these kids need than what I can offer them in school. Shoutouts for like people like Ms. Lowe, who are oh, having people come in and do uh, workshops, because like when I seen that, I was just like, wow, I wish I had that when I was younger. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not saying that there weren't people, but it's just like stuff that's known and relevant and kids are rating. Right? They need it. Yeah. They need what Lowe is doing? Ms. Yeah. Lolo? Oh, they need it. Yeah. She's taking kids to the, get their G1. Mm. Who does that? Who does that? Yeah. She 
preparing them for yeah. the real world. She's bringing her mortgage mm. and teaching them, hey, this is what you got to pay when this is what comes with equity. My name is Matt De Silva. I am the youth engagement coordinator at Malton Community Center. Um, I got involved with GLE uh, because they, there was a need for uh, job readiness and interview prep. And we do a lot of that in the community. And being someone who is uh, who grew up in Malton, who went to Lincoln Elm Alexander. I didn't really have all the resources available to me to you know, get prepared for a job. I just had to go out there and figure it out. You know, I had to Google things, had to, had to search it on YouTube. And um, our whole goal with, with coming out here was just to give youth and give, them, give youth tools to better prepare them to get out there in the, in the, in the workforce and just to um, prepare them for interview questions and stuff like that. Um, at our community center, we hire often for uh, a lot of uh, recreation jobs and you know camps and drop-ins. So our whole goal is instead of going out to different parts of Saga, why not get a lot of youth who are in the community working here, um, so that you know they know the youth, they know the community, they understand what certain youth go through in this community, so that it's reciprocal, so that we're giving back to them and they're giving back to other people. So that's our whole goal with um, with trying to come out here and just prepare them for jobs. My name is Jonathan Mitchell, and I'm the Provincial Youth Outreach Worker responsible for Malton, working for Malton Neighborhood Services. Um, I'm from Malton. I think that in a lot of ways, we look at our youth and our, the lack of attention span and use that as a caveat or as a reason not to push. I think we push them towards what they need to handle and manage. And I'm seeing that in the GLE course. I'm seeing that, I, I can't even just call it a course, it's a GLE culture here. Like, it's not just a class anymore. And I've seen the rise of it from being a class to then being a different type of engagement to now being what is a lifestyle. Like, for real, for real. It's a lifestyle brand. You see the sweaters, you see the, the tracksuit, the pants, the whole thing. And it's not just a inside the school experience anymore. Now they're moving it to outside the school, taking it to the street, to where they see their friends that go to other schools. And it's amazing to watch youth that I've known since grade six and grade seven come into their grade 11, grade 12 years and watching the growth in this one particular atmosphere that she has created that gives them the comfortability to be themselves, make mistakes, and that's why the growth happens here because they have the ability to try something, not be successful, and then try it again as opposed to being somewhere else where they might not, might not feel comfortable making a mistake and learning from it. They're in a space now where they can make a mistake, where they have the full support. And I'm talking about holistically, not just at school. Um, she's given them resources, like my, such as myself, such as Matthew and Chris and some other people over at the community center and at other places, the YMCA. She always has people coming in to make it a holistic experience so that when she might not be available at certain points in their day or in the year, that there are other people that they can hinge on and lean upon for that support in other aspects, just like I would do. She's basically youth working as a teacher, and it's crazy to see it, but she's taking this into a community thing and made it into a community thing because it's super important, and that's coming from a person that watched it from the inside, I can definitely say that that's an advanced method of learning. Hi, my name is Michael Kayeye. I'm from Malton. I'm a former GLE student, also Ascension graduate. I also played on the Ascension basketball team. Shout out Ascension, 2013 Officer Champs, yep. And from there, after I graduated from Ascension, I went on to go to Humber College, where I took on Journal Arts and Science, which was a one-year program. I also played on the Humber College basketball team. After I played at Humber College, I played at Holland College. Also, I took sport and management to kinesiology, which was really great for me. Later on, I graduated, got my diploma, and continued my education to go to Brock University, where I'm currently at right now. Shout out Brock Badgers. I'm currently in therapeutic recreation, where later on, I want to get my degree and become a professional athlete. So GLE put me on the right track. It really taught me how to cope with people, how to bond, also taught me how to really open up. I, I was really one of those students who just kind of thought that GLE wasn't really my thing, but once I got into the class, it really brought me to a higher mind state. It really taught me how to be a better student, and which got me where I am right now to Brock University. And 
I really don't know where I'd be without GLE.